Aloha and welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Map Asik Amura. Now today we discuss two new political parties, okay, contesting the national elections for the very first time. We've got the African Transformation Movement and Black First Land First. Now the ATM's manifesto is only 30 pages long, which means... All you have to do is literally browse. It's really, really short, okay? Uh, their core values are peace, Ubuntu, transformation, servant leadership, and accountability. Now, the ATM wants to review the parole system and ensure that perpetrators who are accused of rape, armed robbery, murder, and hijacking do not get bail. They also want to make use of labor convicts, which means that criminals in prison will be earning their way into society and also they will be contributing to the welfare and economy of the country however i believe that this is called slavery and this kind of slavery is currently practiced in the u.s the atm wants to decolonize our economy by nationalizing the south african reserve bank therefore the south african reserve bank will fund a state-owned bank uh, that will fund mortgages small businesses as well as certain sectors of the economy like agriculture mining etc the atm will decrease income tax for lower to middle class individuals establish community-owned mining companies and manufacture finished products using our mineral resources the atm will also expropriate land without compensation except for residential land and also they believe and support that miners and farmers should co-own the farms and mines they work on. BLF on the other hand will enact law that will ensure that public servants and politicians use public utilities that is schools, uh, hospitals, transport and housing which means that the very same RDP houses that the government has built for the people, politicians and public servants will live in those very same houses. BLF will expropriate land without compensation and also ensure sure that there is a minimum wage that people can actually survive on uh, blf will pass an anti-racism bill and what's interesting about this is that blf is founded on principles of black consciousness therefore they do not believe <laughs> that black people can be racist and therefore, because black people lack the institutional power to oppress and subjugate, that means in the definition of the actual anti-racism bill, black people cannot be racist. Therefore, black people cannot be punished for racism. So, very interesting two political parties. I think the ATM is like a, a diluted version of the EFF and BLF is a more radical version of the EFF. <laughs> so it's going to be very interesting to see if people actually go out and vote for them. I think they will. I don't think that they will win the election, but I think particularly BLF will make it into parliament, even if it's like with two seats. And it'll be interesting how they contr contribute to the conversations, the debates, to governing and to the way forward of this country. <laughs> it shall be very interesting um yeah i hope that helped you just a little bit in you know deciding who you're going to vote for on the 8th of may because i myself still do not know who i will vote for but we'll see as time goes by we'll see particularly next week tuesday i would have made a decision by then or maybe on the wednesday in the booth <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. It's a talent to serve humanity, and I will see you on Thursday. Goodbye.